Hello again, YouTube, and welcome back to Just Get a Tesla. This is not a video I actually was planning on making today. I am at a really rather busy ferry bridge supercharger, and we've actually got trouble. I arrived here on 6% with a preconditioned battery, and I should be getting north of 200. But for whatever reason, I'm getting an absolutely killer 75 kilowatts. And as I understand it, some of these aren't actually charging up at all. So some of these guys are saying that I think the blue one said he wasn't getting it to charge at all. And other people are down on 75, 80. So I'm actually wondering, are we overloading the power feed? Which is the first time this has ever happened to me on a V3. Usually these things are absolutely bulletproof and you can roll up regardless of how full it is and still get mega charge. This, <laughs> this is poor. I'm not queuing, but I'm only charging at about 30% of the rate that I expected to be, 30%. That is gonna slow me down quite a bit. Almost as much as if I was having to queue to be able to plug in and then get it so that it was going to be charging at the usual 200 odd uh, kilowatts. So I need to have a think about this and work out what's actually happening. So this is a V3 supercharger station. So there are three of these one megawatt cabinets, okay? So these are supposed to be able to output a whole megawatt of power. Now that splits across four of the charger bays and there's actually 12 bays. So across 12 bays, one megawatt divided by four should be 250 kilowatts of total power. But I'm only getting, actually sped up now to 80 and I should be getting more like 220. And one of the stalls isn't working at all. Mmm, not good. get back in and have a look we're at uh, oh it has actually sped up now 90 kilowatts well that's a bit better but I mean it's still absolute junk I have no clue what is going on but as you can see those three at the back just aren't doing what they're supposed to be okay I've now gone back up to 100 uh, <laughs> I have no clue, no clue what's going on. One of the stalls is bust, it's not working at all, uh, and the others are splitting power, so I don't know what's happening here, but... Mm. I'm nearly done now with charging after what feels like quite a while. Um, so I am picking my friend up in County Durham, Actually, it might still just about be in North Yorkshire. And then I am uh, going off up to Newcastle. And then tomorrow I am driving home. So in terms of charges after this, the reason why I'm basically filling up uh, as much as it'll let me to 80% is because of basically where we're going next. So I am going to be in the uh, centre of Newcastle tomorrow, which is uh, obviously over here uh, there is a supercharger at Washington which I used on the trip down if you haven't seen that video watch it and then there's this one up here at Addiston I think that's probably too far for me to get to uh, without needing a stop so what I'm likely to end up doing is just diving out of Newcastle city centre down to there and then back out again on Sunday morning so the more I've gone in now basically the better so we're literally hitting 80% now where it's going to stop charging anyway because it's got a limit on it. So let's go and unhook it. <laughs> it really would help if I did this in the hand that I was actually capable of. Yeah. And the flap closes itself. I'm going to get out of here because I am now sat unplugged at a supercharger stall. But that is the first time I've had a really 
poor experience to be honest just because it was unexpectedly slow um if you've ever had anything else similar at a supercharger let me know in the comments if you haven't uh, again let me know and i will see you very soon after you've liked and subscribed and hit the bell icon etc here on just get a tesla